I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Here is a challenge question, a difficult question based on dot products. The question here is, determine a unit vector using dot products that is perpendicular to both a which is vector a which is 3 minus 2 7 and vector b which is 2 minus 1 2. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now let us say that C is a vector perpendicular to both vector A and vector B. In that case, we know that, uh, let's say vector C is x, y, z, right? So in that case, vector A dot vector c should be equal to 0 and also if I say c is x y z and a is 3 minus 2 7 uh, let me write down c equals to let's say x y z we don't know what it is let me insert this here okay so that is the vector c so that really means that a dot c is 0 that is to say 3 minus 2 7 dot x y z equals to 0. So when you do the dot product you get 3x minus 2y plus 7z equals to 0. Now that also means that b dot c is also equal to 0 so that means 2 minus 1 2 dot x y z equals to 0 or 2x minus y plus 2z equals to 0. So we actually get two equations from here and we have three things to figure out. So that means we are looking for a parametric solution. So what we could do here is that we can times this equation by 2 so that we get 2y 2y and then we can get rid of at least y right. So if I times this by 2, I get 4x minus 2y plus 4z equals to 0, right? So let me call this as our equation number 3. And now, if I do equation 3 minus equation 1, what do I get? So from 3, I am taking away equation 1, right? So we get 4 minus 3 as x minus 2y minus 2y is 0 and this minus that gives me minus 3z equals to 0. That is to say that x is equals to 3 times z. Correct? So now we can actually define a parameter and find what x and z could be, right? So, so let's take z as equal to let's say t let's say so let's let z be some parameter t in that case x will be 3 times t right so if i put this value in one of our equations let it be equation number 2 so equation number 2 is okay let me we'll call this as equation number 4 right so in 2 sub 4 into that is these two values. Okay. So 2 is 2x. So we'll write 2 times x is 3t, right? Minus y. We don't know what y is. Plus 2 times z. And z is t for us. That should be equal to 0. So from here, we can find that 6t plus 2t is basically equal to y. And that implies y is equal to 6 plus 2, 8t. Is that clear to you? So we get the value of y. So that means the vector c for us could be, in terms of our parameter t, it could be written as x is 3z, uh, 3t, y is 8t, and z is t. So that becomes our vector which is perpendicular to both, right? T could be any real numbers, right? Where T belongs to real numbers, any real number. In this particular question, we are more interested in finding a unit vector. 
that is specific. That means I have to divide this by its magnitude, right? So what is going to be the magnitude? Well, the magnitude will be, uh, we'll do square root. Let's find the magnitude of this C. So, so that is equal to 9T square plus 864T square plus T square, right? So we'll do squares of them and add it up. So 9 plus 10 and then plus 1 is 10. 64 plus 10 is 74 uh, t square square root, right? So that becomes the magnitude for us, right? Which is basically uh, t, which could be written as t square root 74, uh, 74. I'm not really simplifying on this, but that gives me the unit vector. So the unit vector C, which I'm writing like this, this is for unit vector, is basically, you have to divide this vector by this term. So what you get here is 3 over square root of 74, 8 over square root of 74, and 1 over square root of 74, right? T and T cancels. So that becomes the unit vector, which is going to be perpendicular to both the vectors and that is how you could do this using scalar products dot products do you get the idea right now in the next unit we'll learn about cross product right so alternate solution is to use cross product which we are going to learn in the next unit right so for now, I think that should be good enough. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. I hope you like the selection of these questions. They really give you insight to dot products. So as we move on, we'll take more questions related to application of dot products, especially for work done and similar examples, and hope you find it very interesting and useful. Please feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.